YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Shamay Man, Dan Joss, back again with another Super Office Show. Review, can you dig it, baby? I know you can't hate, listen, man. Super Office Show. For the individuals who may not have a family to visit for Thanksgiving, um, no significant other to help with the cooking, you want something quick, it's Thanksgiving, you really have no house to hop to, you moved out of state, if a Boston market's nearby, baby, you better act like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, man. Boston market, can you dig it? I'm in love, yo. Oh, this food, as always, smells banging. You need your tools to do the job, baby. Okay, they got my little, uh, my little, my little piece of cornbread. Now, I'm gonna keep it funky with you. And if we have to get this cornbread a rating on a scale of one to five, because you know how I get down, Boston Market, man, I'm a. I'm gonna give you a cornbread like a two and a half piece. It's slightly warm. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. And then when I bite into it, it sure ain't no biscuit. This thing is, this thing is leaking all over the studio, man. So if we can turn the the, the top into a carrying tray, uh uh uh. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> I'm gonna stick a fork in it. Bow, let you know it's done. And yeah, yeah, I need to bring you in on what's happening here, baby. You know, you have your macaroni and cheese because it's the cheesiest, baby. Now, a lot of you know it as sweet yams, candy yams, yams with marshmallow, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, baby, some of that turkey. With that extra gravy sauce on there popping off, doing this one, two thing. Can you dig it, baby? And I know you can, man. I know you can. Yeah, yeah. We're going to start with the macaroni and cheese. Hold on. By itself? Mmm. The cheese powder that's used, and you can taste the powder, man. Like, I, I, I'm not digging it as cheese sauce. The macaroni and cheese, on a scale of, I used to get my macaroni and cheese on hard body until I found out I was lactose intolerant. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, like, the cheese sauce is okay, man. It's nothing to do backflips about. It's nothing that's going to keep having me run back to Boston Market every other day. But um, it, it, it's enough. It is appetizing. I could enjoy it out of a one to five. We're giving you macaroni and cheese a three. It needs more seasoning. Let's get into the yams. Sweet baby Jesus. One more again. One more again on the yams, you dig? I can you woo woo woo? I'm gonna take some of these bland behind macaroni and cheese bits and I'm gonna mix it in with the yams. I hope it's called sweet perfection. So many possibilities. I'm gonna create my own seasoning. I call this, I call this ghetto seasoning. So much better. <laughs> so much better, I promise you. You gotta use your turkey, sop up the gravy proper. You gotta get up in there, boy. You gotta get up in there, woo! Mm. The turkey's tender. It is lightly seasoned. Now, Boston Market, just because I finished this delicious part of the meal has nothing to do with that ragged behind corn muffin that you wanna pass off to a brother. I should've just let him keep it. That's a two and a half. I'm playing my emotions with that corn muffin, man. Change the whole entire batter. Change the whole recipe for that corn muffin. Make it, I don't know, make more, more butter, more flavor. More better blues, Spike Lee. The rest of the meal. The macaroni and cheese. <sighs> no, daddy, stop it. The macaroni and cheese by itself is not what's happening right now. Man, you're talking with gravy? Ooh, ah, ah, ah. <coughs> you feel me? The yams? The yams definitely was happening. Those yams give a lot of yams a run for the money, and I've had plenty old yam in my life, you dig? Plenty old yam. Excellent job, Boston Market. Your whole entire meal piece 
I'm gonna give the whole meal piece on a scale of one to five. I'm gonna give it a four. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. Definitely taking that corn muffin. Need to throw that back. I don't. Can I get a refund? No.